Hello there, Cancers. Uh, welcome to your mid-July. I have um, some energies coming through, and I feel like it's it's a, a little bit disruptive, and I don't like to see this um, during your birthday month. But you know, birthday month is also a time when we're interacting with a lot of people, some from the past. Um, just a lot of people are coming into your environment overall, so I feel like the energy can be a little bit like overwhelming, a little bit disruptive. You have to make time to see everybody and things like that so it's it's understandable but it's not as stable as I would like to see it for you guys um, the first message that I have here is um, some of you are waiting to sneak away so I feel like um, in at, at the work environment you want to like um, you you want things to settle down you want things to stabilize you want, um, you know, like a, a decision from higher ups or you want to finalize some type of a decision, even as it relates to career or money, you know, such as a court decision or some type of a settlement. You want things to be stable so that you can get away, so that you can, you know, move on with your life. And I feel like for some of you, you want projects to end so that you can take a trip. You want... Um, Things to settle down so that you can, you know, just sneak out and, and just, you know, call it an early day, call it an early shift or because you have other things, other obligations that you have to attend to. So I see a lot of busy energy, a lot of things that are kind of like still up in the air and you're waiting on for them to finalize. You're waiting for them to settle. And then I feel like some of you might be attending functions with a lot of either family members, friends and uh, even professional contacts. And you're waiting for opportunities to, it, it's almost like you feel a little bit burned out. You feel a little bit like, oh, I'd rather be uh, alone. I'm too, you know, overwhelmed. And so you might just want to get away as well. You're waiting for the opportunity to, you know, sneak away and, and just retreat back into, you know, your lair or into your own space, into um, solitude. Okay, because um, innately, I feel like you're, you're um, a homebody type of a sign. And so having too many people in your environment can be a little bit disruptive. Um, on the other hand, what I also feel is like um, they're saying like waiting on money, waiting for some type of a financial resolution as well. And I feel there's they're saying like, you know, the later part of this year, like the last the fourth quarter of the year, which is going to bring us into, you know, uh, October, November and December. That's when everything will be stable and finalized and that's when you're going to move on to bigger and better things and that's when I feel like life is going to start for you you know a new life a new journey trips uh, taking uh, as well like um, you know venturing out like uh, doing I'm seeing students like studying abroad students finishing up like uh, even graduating finishing up something quite significant so that you can you know start your life in a new venture in a new path okay um on the other hand some of you in the work environment i feel like you are working very very hard and it's starting to dawn on you that that maybe you're meant to be doing something else or maybe they're kind of like working you to the ground so it's like possibly taking advantage of you and dumping a lot of responsibilities on you which I feel um, you're a very t uh, team oriented type of, of person. If you see everybody else doing a lot of work, you're going to, you know, roll up your sleeves and get your hands dirty because everybody's on board. But if you see other people slacking off, it's going to create that resentment within you where you feel like that's not fair, you know. And so I see that element about, you know, um, feeling the, the, the uh, inequality in the workload. And then for others, um, there's like demands when it comes to family. So I, I feel like a lot of family owned businesses where <clears throat> where like employees might have left and then you have to come in, even though it, it could be, for example, um, a, a, a brother, a sister, a mom, dad that owns a business. And then you have to chip in mainly because they couldn't find a replacement for one of their employees that just left or they had to get rid of um, some employees and they haven't put a posting up so you have to come in and kind of like help out and kind of oversee or manage um, the new people that they hire so I feel like some additional responsibilities coming through uh, from the family's end okay I do see as well home repairs and I feel like um, 
if you have elderly parents, they're, they're calling you, they're like hiring contractors or they're telling you to talk to contractors or telling you to oversee the work of contractors as it relates to like home improvement projects, home expansion, remodeling. Um, you could also be doing this in your work environment as well where uh, somebody is coming in and they're, they need it to be trained. And the only person that has, you know, the, they're, they're giving you that role to oversee this person's progress and to oversee everything that they're doing to make sure that they're doing things the right way. So you're call, being called upon in a training capacity. So in a way, I feel like it is additional responsibilities that, you know, higher ups are kind of dumping on you. But the wage and the, the income that you're making is not, um, is not, a, it's not like increased to the extent that your responsibilities are drastically increased. Does that make sense? So it's a good time overall for you to demand a salary increase. I feel like that might be uh, something that you need to do for yourself or at least, you know, make note of this and then come, you know, the last quarter of the year when they have to do performance review, when they have to, you know, when, when they assess the work that you've done for the entire 2017, maybe it's a good time to kind of throw that out there and say like, you know what, I, I did a lot of work this year and I want a salary increase. Here is what I did. I trained so and so. I did all these other things. And so, you know, make sure that they're not, um, they're not taking you for granted at work. Okay. Um, I'm seeing there's a lot of changes when it comes to home environment renovations but also like a, a shift in the new home environment so moving from a home environment waiting for a home to to sell so that you can collect money from it as well and uh, just a lot of clearing up um, moving like like physically putting things in a box and then moving so it could be from from an office moving to a different office moving to a different space like a different cubicle or, or gradually moving your stuff from one housing situation to the next um, I see a lot of people with pets um, you know it is the summertime in the uh, northern hemisphere and it, it can get very cold so I feel like pets and and some type of weather condition so even if you're in the southern hemisphere even and it's winter time uh, or wherever you are, just be careful about your pets. <clears throat> and I mean like securing them, you know, like uh, putting them in an environment where they are secure, they're not going to run away or people can't, like people on the streets can't access them and steal them. Okay, so I, I feel like with pets, you want to be careful and just make sure if it's really hot outside, allow them to come inside or leaving a lot of food, uh, a lot enough water for them. So taking care of your pets, being a lot more vigilant about the environment that the pets are, are residing. Um, I see some people having to have somebody take care of your pets so that you can take a trip and just making sure that you, you, you check up on whoever it is that's you know tasked with that responsibility because it's very important. I feel like pets getting out of the house and uh, I also feel like, you know, they're, they're, it's too hot, they're burning up, or it's too cold, they're, they're not comfortable. So take care of your pets, okay? Um, the last message that I want to leave this off here with is, um, it feels almost like while there is a lot happening around you, a lot of people in your environment, a lot of changes, um, it can feel a little bit unsettling. But they're saying the later part of this year, especially those last three months, looks very, very good for things to complete, for things to finalize. I'm seeing some people uh, retiring, like, you know, finishing up your, they mentioned tour of duty, so some military people. I'm seeing some people finishing up some type of training so that you can retire and somebody can, you know, take over your position. And I'm also seeing some people um, waiting on settlements and things like that so that you can take a, a big, 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 big trip like a sabbatical or, you know, relocating overseas or doing a major uh, work change as it relates to like leaving one place and making a drastic move to the next. I feel like overseas for many of you. And then I see people retiring and wanting to travel. Um, so they they're they're kind of thinking and if you are uh, on that in that group where you're thinking about traveling 
I feel like there are pets, there are children also in the picture that you're just trying to make arrangements for. And I feel like, you know, they're, um, you're thinking about like, where can I move to next so that my child can be enrolled in a good school so that it's not too disruptive. But there are big changes that you're planning for the later part of this year. So now it's just, you know, um, the process of waiting for things to finalize, okay? Um, it's a little bit of a mixed bag, I feel. And um, I feel like on the relationship front, what we have here is uh, we have an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And I feel like this is a person um, that is, they're trying to get your attention. They're trying to, you know, reach out to you. They like you. And I feel like they're very sincere, but I, I don't feel you going forward with it. I, I feel like you're just like, no, let's, uh, let's, let's not. So I internally, you're having that dialogue. Let's not do that. Um, my life is a little bit too, you know, unstable right now. I'm, I'm not ready for that. And, and you're just like, maybe, so, so you're not telling them no. But I feel like some of you are not responding. And you're just like, maybe by the end of this year, I'll revisit, you know, this situation and give that person a try. But not right now. My life is a little bit too up in the air. I don't want to do that to another person. So that's the responsible thing to do, I feel. And then for others, I have a water sign here. So another Cancer, a Pisces or a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And um, for some reason, I feel like there's some worries, some anxieties about this person. So I don't know if, um, I don't know if like you've had a history in the past. It, it just feels like this person knows too much and you, you, you've divulged a lot of information or they know a lot about you, you know a lot about them. And you're just like, uh, I don't, I, I don't think this is going to work. So that's, that's the, the, um, dilemma that I feel you're in with your relationship. And I feel like people like you, people are reaching out and, uh, they want to, you know, give you gifts and they also want to give you uh, time as well. And it looks good overall. The intentions seem very pure, but I feel like you do just want to, you know, lay low this month for some reason. I feel like many of you are just like, I just want to lay low. I just want to, you know, be on my own. I just want to take care of some stuff on my own. And I have too much going on in my life right now. I don't want to like, you know, meet up with one person and um, not be and, and be like distracted with your own, for example, 35 now, we're 40 now, we're 50 now. What do we need to do? And so there's that sense of pressure coming through, you know, biologically. I'm not as old, uh, as young or agile as I used to be. What can I do or what should I do? And I'm not as, uh, y you know, young and reckless. I can't really afford to be reckless anymore. What should I do? What is the right thing to do? Or for others of you, um, I'm not making as much money as I thought I would, you know, at 30, 40, for example. Uh, what can I do to make my financial situation better? And so I feel like, I feel like you have a lot of, um, the, you, it's, it's like an, um, it's almost like a quarter life, midlife crisis. It, it feels like that to me. Um, one last thing I would say here that just came in, um, be careful about purchasing new property because I feel like the later part of this year is a better time for you. That's when you're going to have a better idea as to where you need to be, where, uh, location wise is, is a better, um, area for you. So I would say, you know, try not to purchase property right now. Just put a freeze on that for now, you know, and revisit it at a later date. Okay. Because with, you know, that type of midlife crisis, quarter life crisis, you might want to do something a little bit drastic. You might want to, you know, uh, put down roots and the energy is not supporting that right now. You, you might feel that, that um, biological push for you to stabilize your life. And um, the foundation to me, it doesn't feel like it's stable enough for you to do that just yet. So as uncomfortable as it is, slow down and, you know, don't, don't feel pressure. When we operate and make decisions, when we feel emotionally pressured or biologically pressured, it's not going to be a good decision, okay? So you don't need to say yes or no to it. You don't need to act at all. And I, I feel like not acting at all 
might be the best course of action okay so i hope this reading has been helpful for you guys i really don't want to see this for you on your birthday time but i feel like some people are dealing with this and um things will get better okay cancers things will be okay things will be better um air on the side of just you know focus on the things that you have right now don't venture too far out because um, the later part of this, this year will bring new opportunities for you to do that, okay? I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll be back in the August reading. Take care. Bye-bye.